Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I've been up all night, but I wasn't able to film this until now. The second Medicate by Gabby Hanna came out on iTunes last night at midnight. I downloaded it immediately and I've been dying to listen to it all night, but I wasn't able to because I wanted to get a genuine reaction on camera. So this is my reaction to Gabby Hanna's new release, Medicate. I don't really know what to expect from it other than I know that everyone's saying it's her best song and from what I'm gathering it's a slow song and quite an emotional one. It's going to be different from her other songs. I really hope that it is true that it is her best. I've never really been disappointed by her music before and I've done a video before reacting to another one of her singles. I can't even remember which one it was. All I remember is I had purple hair back then. So I'll leave a link to that in the description down below if you want to watch that too. But let's get straight into it and see what Gabby has in store for us, shall we? First of all, I want to say the cover art, you can't even see it, is yellow. I deliberately have yellow all around me right now. <laughs> I absolutely love Gabby's new hair, by the way. I've wanted to dye my hair yellow for the longest time, but everyone's like, no, stop being stupid. It looks so stupid. That's taking your obsession with yellow too far. And goddamn, every time I see her hair, I'm like, I wish, I wish I hadn't bleached my hair to the point of destruction because I so would have tried that colour out and maybe one day I will. I just, just have to say that I really admire her hair every time I see it. I just, yellow is my favourite colour and I can't even. From the title and from the artwork, I feel like it's going to be to do with depression and mental health most likely, which means I'm a sucker for that kind of thing and I'm going to end up loving it. So let's just listen to it because I've been dying to listen to this forever. <laughs> Ah, okay, so it's also like a, a love song as well. I wasn't expecting that. I thought it was going to be all about, I don't know, just being depressed or something. That's just what I got from the title, but I had a feeling it was going to be a slow track. I had a feeling it was going to be. All right, let's keep listening because there's not much to go on so far. <laughs> Okay, take a pill to numb the pain, change the chemicals inside my brain. Can relate. <laughs> I definitely know what it's like to have to rely on medication to keep yourself sane and I can't explain the feeling of being on medication and feeling like you can't be yourself without it. It's the weirdest feeling being reliant on medication and I do think that doctors, at least in the UK, need to change the way that they just shove medication on you the second you say that you're feeling depressed or the second they diagnose you with depression or anxiety it's just like here's some tablets bam and then you tell them it doesn't work and they just hand you some more so um i feel like i'm gonna relate to this song a lot and it's probably gonna get to me Okay, her singing has definitely improved. I don't think she was ever bad at singing. You can bring up the whole monster meme thing if you so freaking wish, but <laughs> let's not go over that again. I think she's always had talent and at the moment she's had a lot of hate on her recently that I've been seeing online and I haven't really spoke about it on my channel because I didn't really want to bring the light to it, I guess. And like, I didn't really feel any hatred towards her but with anything, I mean, did I feel like some criticisms were valid? Yes, but did I also feel like some of them were just reaching and trying to mooch off of the Gabby Hanna hate train? Yes, as well. I feel like I always see this with Gabby where she gets these onfluxes of like hatred online that just go to her all of a sudden. And so I was a bit nervous for this release because I'm like, damn, ha Gabby, like, I really hope it's a good enough song so that people can stop fucking roasting you when you actually have talent because clearly she's written this herself as well she's clearly a tan talented songwriter and just let her live her life I, d I just don't understand like I'm being genuine when I say that I do really enjoy her music and I just don't understand where the hatred comes from for most for the most part and I'm probably going to spark up some kind of debate in the comments I'm sure of it but like I don't know, I just feel like she didn't deserve quite as much hate as she's been getting recently. Q 
kill <laughs> kill the sadness with science. So true. Uh, again, I will reiterate that I just I don't believe in just shoving someone on antidepressants. Let me tell you, when I when I went on my first load of antidepressants, oh my god, I've never felt more suicidal in my life. I can't even. People always think I'm exaggerating when I say that, but god damn, I've never felt so low in my life. And I feel like just shoving pills at someone's so dangerous. I just don't understand why they can't take more time to figure out what's truly wrong. And therapy is a thing, I know. Probably a thing we should all try, but this song is gonna get me passionate about <laughs> some things right here. Oh my god, this bit sounds epic. I hope there's like a long ballad coming. I hope something epic's about to come, really. Oh. I feel like she's gone ever so slightly like lighter on the way that she belts out her voice now. Maybe that's taking on constructive criticism, constructive criticism of the way <laughs> that she was singing in some parts of Monster, like the way she would strain her voice and stuff. I know nothing, I'm not a vocal coach, just saying, just saying. I do feel like she's gone lighter on this song, which actually makes me sad because some of my favourite work of hers is like the part where she's belting out in, um, oh god I've forgotten the name of it, fake fan. Honestly, in like the encore of Honestly, that's one of my favourite and will always be one of my favourite songs. Um, just in general, not even just from her, because it's such raw emotion and I love that like Panic at the Disco vibe from her. So I think that's the only thing that's missing from this, but I do really like the vibe of this so far and I can definitely feel myself after a few lessons listening to this on repeat. I just know I will. And I guarantee I'll end up crying at some point when I'm feeling emo and sorry for myself. <laughs> I really love that back bit. Ah, I can't sing. <laughs> ah, ah. I don't know, it just brings the song out more. I don't know how to review songs, have you noticed? For sure this is the type of song I'm gonna have on repeat constantly like one of these songs that I get so emotionally attached to I'm like screaming it out in my room like <laughs> listening to it and looking out a car window like I'm so sad in life <laughs> I definitely think that she's improved a lot on her vocals is it her best song she's ever done I don't know I need to give it a few more listens I think to be honest it always takes a while for a song to grow on me um, this one I can definitely tell I'm gonna like. Sometimes I listen to a song for the first time and I know I'm gonna like it. Um, so I hit it on repeat immediately, which is what I would do usually if I wasn't filming. I think that she's improved vocally. It's her best song vocally. I definitely think that she's improved in that way. I've always thought she's a good singer though, so <laughs> I don't know. I've never understood the hate towards her singing. Like. I get it, she was a Vine star first and she went to YouTube and you're just thinking, oh, another YouTuber that thinks she's a musician, blah blah blah, but if she's writing her own music with meaning and the music video is always well carried out as well, I don't actually have any critiques. <laughs> I just, I might be a little bit biased because I'm a fan of hers, but I do think that she improves with every song that she puts out and I'm always blown away by the fact that she can top the last song because I always think, oh, Monster's my favourite song, oh, Honestly is my favourite song, and then she brings out a new one and I'm like, okay, this is my favourite song. Definitely think after a few listens I'll probably have 
more of a passionate response to the song and I'll probably feel more emotional about it. I'm very tired, I literally didn't sleep at all last night so sorry if I'm not enthusiastic but I'm so tired I can't. And I feel like that this song is going to relate to me a lot because I know what it's like to rely on medication to be happy and to feel normal and not have outbursts of anger and sadness and just feel so down and I even know what it's like to have medication to get yourself to fall asleep at night which is the problem I was having last night. I could not sleep for shit. I go through stages of insomnia sometimes and I have to rely on medication for that. I definitely think that it's a song I can relate to a lot and so well done Gabby, well done. <laughs> and Gabby if you're watching this, um, again really weird if you do. I want to say just to you to ignore people that are being purposely hateful. I do think that some people, oh this fringe gross, I do think that some people have constructive criticism but I do feel like a lot of it is jumping onto a bandwagon and just hating for the f for the for the sake of hate hating but I think it's important to notice when it's just being hateful and when it's constructive criticism. I know that you've said some things in defence in regards to certain people um, attacking you and stuff online and while I didn't agree particularly with some of the things that you said I can understand because when you're not in the right mental place and from this song that seems how it is, I don't know, I'm making assumptions, I don't know, you've not said, but I know that you go to therapy and stuff. When you're not in the right headspace I think people don't really understand that you will have a reaction to hatred and hurtful comments and things that people say about you in a more passionate way than you would if you were in a good headspace. Like if I was in a good headspace I wouldn't let someone's words affect me, I could literally just shrug it off, laugh and get on with my life. But when you're in a bad headspace, you're gonna say stupid things in response to hate. You're gonna defend yourself in ways that don't make sense to other people and you're gonna look irrational from their side and it probably is irrational because it's harder to deal with hate and stuff when, first of all, you're a huge influencer with tons and tons of people coming at you. I cannot even imagine. I think I'd have a breakdown. <laughs> I can't even handle when someone looks at me wrong on the street. I'm like, oh god, what did I do? <laughs> I think people just need to cut you a little bit of slack and realise that you're human and that of course you're gonna get upset when people are jumping on a bandwagon and all hating you at once like I don't know I saw you putting out an apology video and I saw you do the iNabber interview and it still wasn't enough for some people and I would just say don't try and please these people because there's no pleasing people that don't like you and that's a hard life lesson that I'm trying to learn myself at the moment um, so why am I giving you advice when I'm literally the worst person for this I don't know but I just wanted to say that I love you and I love your content I love your music more than anything and I will have this on repeat and I hope that I hope that you stop getting so much hate online because you clearly work hard and you've clearly taken a bad situation and just gone and written and turned it into music and I think that's great so if you enjoyed this video you can like you can comment and you can subscribe I make new videos every single week or at least I try to turn on your notifications if you want to see whenever I upload because it seems like people aren't really getting my uploads at the moment I'm not really sure that would really help me out I'm trying to hit 1000 wait no I'm trying to hit 2000 subscribers and it would be cool if you could help me out anyway thank you for watching and peace